Very glad to, to be here to uh, give some uh, give a comparison uh, comparison study on the FR in China, Ethiopia, and Nepal. Uh, uh, we can see the predictable uh, trend of the forest change in uh, different countries of the world from the experiences of the forest transition model study. Uh, though deforestation and uh, forest degradation uh, and, uh, uh, is still the main uh, problem in the world, uh, global and national commitments to uh, restore the land, uh, landscape is also apparently uh, um, uh, strong in recent years. So um, uh, here I want to, based on the hypothesis of the forest transition model, uh, on the forest cover change uh, to, to do the comparative study on the drivers of the uh, deforestation and forest degradation, uh, what's the motivating of the factors of the re re restoration and the incentives of the uh, FR in three case countries, uh, try to build the policy recommendations for the decision makers. Uh, the history of the deforestation in China goes back uh, many centuries by expansion of the agriculture. Uh, up until the late 20th uh, century, China's growing population required more and more agriculture land. Uh, but we have turned around in the past uh, 20 years. And uh, both Ethiopia and Nepal faced uh, um, uh, DND uh, two, as agriculture encroachment. Uh, after Himalaya and the degradation was discussed uh, in 1975 by uh, Ekholm, a widespread land degradation uh, indeed occurred um, from some uh, researchers' um, uh, literature. So, so that's why the from the global and national uh, level they all uh, committed to uh, restore the lands landscape uh, there are many uh, global campaigns for planting trees and uh, restoring landscape uh, ecological functions uh, in recent years uh, there are various commitments from born challenge from uh, APEC meeting and the UN climate change climate change uh, summit and the CBD IG uh, biodiversity targets, they all uh, have targets for the landscape uh, restoration. Uh, both uh, China and Ethiopia have the uh, national commitments to increase their forest uh, area uh, to, to rehab rehabilitate the uh, degraded lands. Uh, and also both three countries in, uh, in China, Nepal, and Ethiopia have uh, commitments uh, to the IG targets to, to restore the landscape. And China uh, has a large ecological improvement uh, commenced since six national key forestry programs launched in late 1990s. Uh, we are going to restore millions of hectares of land through natural regeneration and the planting, tree planting. As you all may know that uh, six uh, national uh, key uh, forestry programs, uh, including the NFPP, CCFP, and uh, CCFP conversion crop land uh, to forest program is the uh, case we, we are using in this uh, study. And about the uh, forest transition model and the uh, policy uh, uh, change in China, uh, uh, we can see we have dif different period, we have different stages. Uh, but uh, I can uh, summarize it as uh, three stages from 1949 to 1976, from 1977 to 1996-97. And then after 1998, uh, we have large uh, ecological improvement 
uh, commenced uh, and to restore the um, landscape. And the Ethiopian's forest rec uh, reconstruction starts from uh, 2000. From, with the national tree planting campaigns starting from mid-2000, uh, 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 there's a national forest policy and forest law issued in 2007. Uh, also, the uh, CRGE strategy started 2011. All, all of those policies re reinforce the forest, uh, forestry development and, and the Re reinforce, uh, encourage the tree planting. Now, post forest uh, 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 reconstruction, uh, re reconstruction starts from 2000 uh, with uh, several national policies enacted. Forest policy started in 2000, uh, and the national biodiversity uh, strategy uh, issued in 2002. So, um, so all that, um, also the forest carbon policy and the forest policies envisioned in 2014, uh, they, they have various potential benefits uh, from the forest goods and services for the local people and the global uh, level. What's the drivers of the deforestation and the forest uh, degradation in China? It's uh, because uh, popular uh, pressure po uh, leading to the agriculture expansion for food, overlogging for timber to support the economic uh, development, also the illegal logging for the uh, families, uh, house use. Um, even though there are several uh, policies, afforestation and regeneration policies, uh, but we couldn't stop the deforestation trends. So far, the meat and young forest and also the monoculture forest uh, accounting for the majority of the current uh, forest. A rapidly, uh, rapidly growing population in uh, Ethiopia, over to uh, 90 million, uh, which, oh, which is a uh, um, Eighty percent more uh, depend on the land for food. So that that's, but the farm sizes of the households is very small and uh, unproductive. It's about uh, less than uh, zero point five uh, hectares for each household. That as a result, that uh, agriculture expansion and. Uh, uh, caused the deforestation and the grazing and a few wood uh, uh, extraction caused the forest degradation in Ethiopia. In Nepal too, and uh, drivers for the de deforestation, the forest degradation are agriculture expansion by the landless uh, farmers, unsustainable agriculture practices, overlogging and illegal logging. Uh, as un unclear property rights of the land, uh, overgrazing and uh, uh, bush cutting, all cause the deforestation and degra uh, forest degradation. What's the motivation for the reforestation in China? It's uh, um, improving the ecological quality, controlling the floods, and soil water erosion in the origins of the big rivers. How to integrate the uh, well-beings of the improvement of marginal people living in the original arranging of the watershed are the second main concerns of the China's FR. And in Ethiopia, the main actors of FR are uh, communities and the central government, and also the development partners like uh, such as NGOs and donors. So motivations for the reforestation uh, uh, are both economic benefits of meeting households daily needs for food and uh, fuel wood, and also the ecological benefits of the water and soil conservation to provide clean water for drinking and uh, irrigation. Uh, in Nepal, the main actors of FR are communities and the central government too. 
and uh, the motivation for their restoration um, to meet the local people's needs for forest products, uh, for their uh, house building, and also for their fuel wood, and uh, um, of course, control the floods. So the incentives for uh, FIR in China will say that uh, include the soil water conservation and protect the arranging of the water sources for clean water. Um, both the CCFP subsidies and, and future return of the forest management for the households attract the farmers to participate in the FIR. Um, and a secure land use right by the certification of the forest land, new, uh, land tenure uh, and also the all farm employment opportunities outside village after um, participating in CCFP. Uh, more laborers and time are released from the intensive cropland management. In incentives for the Ethiopian's FLR, it's, a, it's the, both the on-site and off-site benefits which directly influence households' daily life uh, are expected as incentives. There are mainly timber and non-wood uh, forest products needs, uh, also the, uh, like, such as the fodder and the water flows for drinking and ir irrigation. And uh, also the payments and the jobs uh, participating in the forest management also uh, uh, attractive for the, for the farmers. Of course, the future ownership of the uh, ownership of the land uh, are also expected from the uh, households. Incentives for the Nepal it's uh, um, the most attractive attractive incentives should be providing the forest products of the timber and fuel wood for the households, land tenure or user rights to easy to access the forest, protect the communities from the large uh, floods and provide clean water for local people uh, by afforestation in, in water sources uh, area. So we try to conclude with this table and uh, comparing each country's transition um, period and uh, their deforestation time frame and also um, the time for their forest recovery and try to compare the incentives, what's the commons, common incentives, what's the common drivers of the deforestation. And we, we think learning, adapting needs time. And uh, there are common issues for deforestation and forest degradation in the same forest transition period of three countries. And the common drivers for FRR may maybe improve both the ecological and uh, Econ economic benefits for the local people. And uh, most common incentives of the ecological service um, is to control the floods, provide uh, clean water and uh, e irrigation water. Um, and uh, we can see no one size uh, fits all solutions. But uh, by breaking down what the incentives have worked in different case studies, we may try to find some common suggestions and for the different uh, transition model of these countries. Thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.